Hello everyone, um, this is a um, little bit of a general reading that's going on, um, and feel free to resonate with this reading as you may. Um, if it doesn't, you can um, you can wait for my next few readings um, that come up, um, or if you align with this, but it's not pertaining particularly to you, but it also um, connects with somebody that you know, uh, feel free to um, allow it to connect to the way that it fits um, in the way of um, how your life is pertaining to it. Um, or it can just be a interesting and um, mind-blowing epiphany that comes up. So anyway, uh, no further ado, I am Jacob Palmer, um, or you can call me by bear um, for um, a shorter name to go by if you, uh, if, if you think that Jacob Palmer is a little too, too much. Um, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and get into some reading. So, anyway, no further ado, let's uh, see what comes out for you guys. Um, oh, also, I want to let you guys know that um, I might have to keep my voice down because I've got a um, family member doing their recording, so I got to make sure that... Um, my voice is kept down for them. So anyway, um, there is a lot going on in this world right now. Um, a lot of um, a lot of conflict. A lot of. Um, a lot of people that are uh, backstabbing you. Um, also, I'm gonna take off my hat so that's a little more nicer um, for you guys because I know there are some people who prefer more um, uh, formalness than anything. But um, anyway, um, oh, also, I do wanna mention to you guys, uh, there is a retreat that I am running um, between March 16th and the 20th. Um, you can go to my communities page uh, or com communities tab in my um, my YouTube and um, feel free to get it through there. Um, because I did a short um, video with me and my mother, um, who are going to be the ones running it. Um, and we have our, um, discrepancy, um, through my, um, company, um, that I work for, uh, for any further detail. So feel free to go there. Um, and if anyone is interested, um, there are tickets out, so feel free to buy yourself a ticket uh, if you feel um, like it's a good chance to do so. So anyway, no further ado, um, let's get to your cards. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. all right, we got some good ones today. Um, so, oh, I'm going to start off with the three cards that are here right now. Um, so we have the, uh, page of swords upside down, which is interesting. Um, I feel like either you're not um you're not dealing with the situation like it should be 
um, you're not um, moving on in a situation like you should be, or maybe um, this person is not doing what they should be. Um, I feel like they're they're letting go of this page of swords, or maybe they're um, not ready for the page of swords quite re uh, quite uh, right now. Um, leading them into the Ten of Pentacles um, upright. So I feel like they're, um, since they're not, they're not making their action towards you or you're not making their act, uh, your action towards them, it's creating a more of a spy action or like somebody that's trying to uh, look at you, yeah, yeah, they're trying to look at you while you're making a connection, or you're here while they're making a connection, or maybe it could be, um, or it could be this other significant person is here while you and this third person is meeting, you know, or maybe maybe they're they're moving around while you're like oh i'm i really hope that these people aren't doing that um and and you know moving on from uh you know what we have um and then there is the king of cups which is um, surprisingly upside down um, because maybe um, this woman or maybe this man um, that you're connected with is kind of upset or maybe um, like they, they feel like they did all they could and now there's just like this um, loss where it's like their um, their cups, I, I think they, they feel like their cups weren't enough. Their cups were too, too far. Their cups were um, just uh, unconstructive. Um, or it could be that they just were having a hard time, you know, having this cup come in um, and, and and be be filled, even from you, you know. Um. So anyway, that that's kind of like um, I think somebody is losing their hope or losing their their faith that this is going to succeed between you and them so yeah but however however I feel like this person is going to make a realization that they're going to um, see things for how they truly are and then they're going to step up the plate and and say like you know what maybe I do like you Maybe, maybe I do want to be there with you. And so they step in and really just like, you know, you can have a good house. You could have a good job. You could have, um, you know, you could be um, in the connection to um raise good money together you could be together to um to be able to travel you could be together to um you know deal with um conflict together rather than separately um yeah yeah i, I feel like they're they're a really good um catch for you um but 
it's a matter of the realization that it comes to um, for them to understand it or maybe maybe you're questioning uh, questioning it yourself and maybe you need to go over the realization um, but it's a matter of you know really um, discovering what your heart brings forth what your heart is about to do or what your heart is about in other words um, Let's go ahead and um, figure out what this um, what this next uh, little bit of connection is about. Um, I feel like there's this like third party going on, or a third person going on, or maybe even just a um, multi connection that's going on um that is past this um this awareness of a uh, good catch so let's see what this third party is about oh <laughs> yep uh -huh. so I, I gotta tell you there's a little bit of a um, chaser going on. There's a little bit of people that want to chase you. There's a little bit of people that want to have you. Uh, there are a couple of people that are trying to sneak around and trying to get that uh, acquaintance sex going on. Or maybe acquaintance uh, love making going on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to tell it to you. There, there's a whole lot of uh, things going on. Uh, also, there are a couple of people who wish that they have stuff for you. But really, in truth, they don't. So, yeah. There, there, there's a lot of funky as heck people out there where they, uh, where they get the scoots, you know? Anyway, um... Uh, let's see what this last card for uh, this third party is about. Oh, yeah, that right there. Uh -huh. Oh, man, all of these are upside down. So you have the uh, Five of Pentacles, which is basically like um they're chasing you and you're like no i just want to be alone and they're like but but i you know i i really do have feelings for you and i really want to you know uh let you know that this is something i want to deal with but since this is upside down this person is a faker they are pretending so that's why it's upside down for you guys is because they're pretending to play the role of please help me please help me i, I need help but guess what they will end up doing giving you the false information, giving you the false um, winnings, giving you the false attainments, uh, giving you the false wellnesses and uh, wealth and stuff like that, like giving you false money or giving you false, um, you know, thought process and, and 
um, you know, maybe even the wrong type of intuition, you know, the, the type of intuition that will just devastate you, you know. And this is why the Knight of Swords is upside down. It's because, because of this person um, leaving, that means that this person is not going to allow you to go. Like, it, it's, it's more of like their wanting to chase you see yeah they're, they're wanting to chase you but since this is upside down that means that they're chasing a shadow they're chasing a shadow that isn't theirs they're they're chasing they're they're chasing something that's the opposite that that's that's not theirs you know, um, you could you can put that together um, in in the way of um, what aligns to what's going on in your situation, where it's like there are uh, a lot of challenge. There's a lot of um, yep, 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 yep exactly what I'm seeing right here so since uh, if I can <laughs> uh, yeah yeah since uh, that person right here is looking at these people going like what are these guys doing I, I want to be a part of that I, I, I want to be uh, I want to be there in front of this person but I'm over here not doing much and, you know, God knows what I'm, what I'm trying to do. Um, and, and, and these people are just like embracing each other and loving each other and, and wanting each other. And, and, you know, they could be seeing it physically. They could be uh, seeing it intuitively. They could be seeing it, um, kind of like collectively um that leads them i had to take that one uh out of the uh hand just so that i can spread these out better um this one is like you know they're chasing you but for the wrong reason chasing you for something that they've wished to have but they don't you know that the type of people that are the third party people which actually then leads you uh, leads you or leads them into this which is basically like they're jumping into the spot of like well I guess my wealth is not good enough my wealth is not uh, my, uh, not um, not perfect and that is where this comes in, where it's like they jump in with their imperfection and they want to have their imperfection perfected um, by you. And they're like, um, please help me, help me become better. Please help me become fixed. Please help me become something that I'm not. And you see please help me become something that I'm not that's the whole story that is coming in that is coming in from them you know that's what they're trying to push is to become something that they're not become something that they're not guys that is the big thing that's the biggest thing thing that is coming in so um yeah so just be very very careful of what you're uh, what you're about to move in on
because you might be seeing these um, these uh, connections and snaps uh, snap ins or um, like a like a creative nature um, or maybe even just like uh, curiosity of having to be creative um, by this person that is um, you know really having a true connection with you the person that is um, maybe uh, somebody that is like um, seeing the actual truth where they're like oh my god I can't believe you know this person is going off with these third uh with these uh third party people and i'm like here going like please please bring uh bring me in and and you know push those other people out i'm i'm the one for you um that's that's their their saying to uh trying to get you to like you know, don't be with these third party people, be with me. And and I'll I'll let you know that I care for you. That's that's what's going on. Um is that I, I feel like there's there's been a third party connection with all this, but you know, you gotta step away from that third party. You gotta, you gotta leave them. You gotta, you gotta no longer, um, even, even if, you know, you, you discovered it and then it's hurting you, you know, you know, unfriend them from, maybe social media, maybe unfriend them from, uh, maybe unfriend them from uh, your contacts, maybe unfriend them in person, you know, like, you know, shit's really gotta happen, you know? But if there is somebody that, uh, like this, this very special somebody that's over here, um, if they're, um, stepping in and they're saying like, look, I understand what you're doing and it's really, um, helping me in my life. And, you know, I, I really, really want to live the life that it is between me and you. And I've. I've seen the truth now. That's, that's their, you know, that's their saying. And then they'll probably, you know, say like the reason why they saw the truth and the things that they actually had as like a detail to the truth. So that's, that's why they're stepping in is that they, they want you to know this actual truth and to know that they're here for you so yeah um anybody that is going through career situations i'm going to go ahead and pull your cards right now uh anything with career anything with career about these people oh oh okay um you have some pretty interesting stuff over here um I, I feel like uh, you have a long line of stuff here. Um, so I feel like something kind of gotten a little hard. To, um, yeah, something got a little hard to win. Something got a little hard to receive or give. 
something got a little hard to um, take in. Um, let's get one more card here for our career. Yeah, or maybe two. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, anyway, I, you know what, actually, I think those last two went together. So it looks like um, these two are, you know, go hand in hand with each other. But everything else um, runs in this whole entire um, understanding or thought process of what's going on. Um, with the Queen of Cups for your first card, um, I feel like they're, oh yeah, they're, so you see a whole entire ocean or maybe a seabed that has, you know, a whole bunch of fish, a whole bunch of um, knowledge and, and a lot of people that, that are able to listen in. But here's where things get a little rough. You see how the woman in here is looking down. Um, and the next card, which I'm about to mention, is the Three of Wands. That, it's like, you're like, you know what? I don't think I see the same thing that I used to see. You know, it's like, you're kind of like, yeah, I've got this cup, but like, who's going to fill it? Who's going to help me? You know, and this is where this comes in, where the three of wands is like, you're looking outwards going like, you know, I had a whole bunch. Uh, I had a whole bunch of stuff happen in my life, and now it's like, now or never. You know. Um. And while you're having that thought happen in your mind, you're like, where is it gonna? Uh, where's it gonna come from? Who's it gonna be? What? What is this person gonna do? You know. And this is where the the card, the star, is reversed. Um, I, for this one, it's not about. Uh, it's not. Not because there's an Aquarius in your life, or maybe if there is, you know, an Aquarius, you know, walking around. Um, I feel like since the star is upside down in this uh, career that's going on. I feel like there is like a bit of upsetness going on, a little bit of like, um, it should have been better kind of a feeling. It should have been way different. It should have been um, much more simpler uh, than this chaos. Um, that that That's like a thought for some of you. Or it's like it should have been simpler, or it should have been um, it should have been better. Um, but a couple of you are like, I I I've done all this and now it's going to waste. Um, that's that's what it feels like. And this magician card that's coming out. Uh, right after the star, it's it's like there's a lot of magic coming in, and you're like, whoa, where has all this been all my life? Where it's like you had something rough go on in your life, uh, where it's like you know you were putting out a whole bunch of stuff for a particular someone or a particular something. Um, that you really didn't know that there was actually something good um, about to appear after the fact that you had let this uh, destabil destabilization go, you know? 
uh, letting go of the dis uh, destabil uh, destabilization to then become stable to um, to really let go of having to force something and and knowing that there's an even higher perspective than where you've been or, or where you've been uh, attaining or what you've been doing so uh, it could be in the term of um, an item, it could be turn of a person, it could be a turn of a place or a thing, um, it could be anything that, that, that came in as, um, that you're receiving a, a good quality or a good understanding about, um, in this very point in time. Uh, it could be within a couple of days before right now, but, uh, that's what's coming out right now is that, uh, the magician is, um is putting their foot down and saying like you know what there may be a whole bunch of things going on right now but i've always been here i've always been stating the things um that you've been needing to hear so yeah that's why the magician's out and this uh past um part of career or past part of somebody in your career that you're getting is coming through is that um, I think the past person that you've been connecting with um, compared to what you're about to connect with um, or maybe had just at this point in time connected with um, is that there is a little bit of an eight of cups going on where it's like they're um, either this past person is leaving you or you're leaving them and you're like, you know what? I feel better now. I feel way better now um, than what I had been. Um, and that is what leads you into the Queen of Swords, which um, kind of like is like you're stepping up and you're like, you know what? This needs to be done. And um, you have all these other opportunities that are going. Like, they, you know, all of them are just no longer going to attain in your life. And, you know, you're looking around going like, where did all these opportunities go? Where did all these other people go? Or where did these all, uh, other uh, connections go? Guess what? They left their... Uh, they left your life. They left um, this harsh connection. And now it's leaving you the freedom to actually go about your life with a more positive mind than a negative mind. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and see what it is with family 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 please bring out family uh, oh um there are some people that are dealing with like a, a fight in a family yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh-huh uh, I wouldn't say all people are going through a fight, but there are some people out uh, out here uh, in the in the community um, that are going through a fight with the family, um, or maybe just are tired of dealing with the family. Um, but however, there are some of you that are actually attaining something beautiful attaining something that you've been always you know looking forward to having so this is the ten of cups which is success success everybody um and even a um new tidings you know that that's what it means is, is like you've achieved success 
and you are rolling out with something that is beyond the beginning. And that is, and this is why the temperance is coming out, is that, you know, a lot of you um, that maybe have understood astrology or those that have um, maybe been curious about um, the temperance card, it, there, there's two meanings to it, you know, um, the, fir the first meaning is about like, um, what does the card temperance connect to? And what does the card temperance mean? So anyway, um, in this one, it, it's more, um, I would say it's, this one has like a, um, like in the range of 100%, this is more um, like 70% um, towards meaning and 30% towards um, like an actual, um, an actual, um, I would say zodiac or some kind of person that is of temperance um, at, at its naturalist form. So know that there there might be a little bit of some temperament. There might be a little bit of some um, maybe some some agitation. It could be some angerment. It could be some upsetness. It could be some. Um, some worriedness, um, things like that. Like people that are just like, they feel done, but they're also feeling like it should have gone a better way. It should have gone some somewhere better. Um, so that's, that's why temperance is out. Um, but I feel like, some of you might be dealing with an actual Sagittarius. Um, so yeah, be aware of that. Um, also, I feel like uh, to bring it back to the, to the career side of things, um, I feel like, um, you know, we've got the Aquarius, which is from the card, the star. Um, we have the Magician, which is more likely, um, kind of like more, um, what you call it? Uh, sometimes like, um, like Pisces might have a little bit of this. Um, or it could be just, you know, stating somebody that has magic in their life. Um, also, we've got um, temperance, you know, uh, which is Sagittarius. Um, for anybody who has those kinds of connections. Um, also, I feel like with a relationship some of you have the star as like a right side up uh, where it's like you know you really do like this Aquarius but uh, maybe it's hard to um, maybe uh, be more sincere maybe maybe it's hard to be more um, more uh, like together with this Aquarius. So yeah, some of you might be uh, trying to figure out like, is this person really the right type of person while I'm feeling that they are? Um, I just wanna, yeah, like, like it's that, that feeling of like, should I really commit to this person? That's, that's what's going on. Um, where it's like you feel it, but you need to figure out if you want to commit to this person. Um, same thing with the magician, the person that is connecting with this magical person. Um, they are kind of like, 
okay, should I connect with this person? Should I really be there for this person? And then with temperance, you know, somebody might be with temp uh, with somebody that's a Sagittarius, and they're like, maybe, maybe, um, maybe I am, um, you know, thinking more physical things rather than thinking more, um, you know, in intuitional things, where it's like. You know, you might be getting something intuitional and you're like, hmm, maybe that's interesting. Maybe I need to go more intuitional about this and be more physical. So, um, but also at the same time, um, te temperance, it, it's like taking your intuition and uh, physicalizing it, making it, uh, making it here in the now. Um, same thing with the star uh they're kind of like um they they do that but they're like you know i'm going to do this but i'm also going to allow this person to um pick it up and be like oh okay so that's what's going on right now so anyway um a little bit of a spiel there uh, for some of you who are curious. Um, so in this family, there is a little bit of like a, like a fighting or rejoicement of some sort, where it's like uh, one, set, uh, one person says one thing, another person says another thing, and then this third person's like, oh, how about I make my own sense into it? And that's where all of you are clashing together, kind of like a, in a spiral, going like, oh, can I, I need to say this, I need to say that, I need to say this, I need to say that, you know? It, it's, it's kind of hard to deal with people like that, where it's like you're dealing with people that are um, just making your life harder, making your life... Um, different in a way where they're going up against uh, what you are or going up against the things that you're doing so anyway uh, let's see what else there is um, is there anything else about the family anything else anything else oh um, I think that, yeah there so there was there was a truth that was said. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. There is a bit of a saying to this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Big time. And this is actually a pretty long spread here for family. So anyway, um, we have the Nine of Swords which is upside down, which is basically like, I think now, now you're like, or maybe uh, very close to being, um, which like, you know, you're, you're in a matter of fact, going to achieve it, um, is that I think you're leaving the notion of being upset, leaving the notion of being let down, being, uh, having the notion of um, kind of just being lesser than something uh, and like you know making your own um, your your own abundances rather than chasing after someone else's abundance you know um, you know how I was saying about a uh, third party? Look what look what's going on. This third party is is either saying like, "Oh, okay, whatever, bye bye," or they could be like, "No, I should have had this person when when I had them. I, I should have had them. They were they were mine." But really, uh, where is it? 
Yeah. When when really, they ain't shit. They ain't shit, guys. This this third party, they ain't shit. And that's when the Ace of Wands come in. Something a little more magical. Um, so you want to, you want to really step out of that and step into this. Go, uh, going from the ace, as uh, an ace, the, going from the three of swords to the ace of wands. That is how you actually step forward. Um... And it could be the Ace of Swords, it could be the Ace of Cups, it could be the Ace of Pentacles um, for others of you. But for a very specific few of you um, that align with Wands, Ace of Wands is the way to go. Um, which will then lead you to this Queen of Wands. Hello. Oh, and uh, interesting uh, dandelions there, but or that 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 dandelion. I'm sorry. Ugh, what they call those? Um, sunflower. There we go. The, uh, there's like a sunflower there, while um, the queen is standing like all nice and proud, and and um, this cat is like. Um, kind of standing at guard with her, saying like nothing is gonna um, gonna put detriment towards the person that I'm with. Um, so I feel like you're you're standing into power, you're standing into leadership um, in a really good way, and. Um, and this, this cat is symbolizing the people that are um, protecting you rather than, um, rather than, you know, um, jumping up and being like, am I the one? Am I, am I this person that you want? Um, they, they know that they're the one and they're here to be protector for you. And see, see in this uh, four of wands, where it's like you're with this person, you're you're shouting for the rooftop, saying like, "Yes, I have this person. I I really like it." And you have a wreath over here going like, um, you know, flowers are blooming and all the good stuff are going on, and these uh, pillars are like um, to show you like, okay, all corners are good. We're good. Everything's fine. That that's what's going on, and um, that's that's when you know that maybe there might be a little bit of some um, fight in the family. There might be some kind of like imbalance. There might be some kind of uh, battle that has to wage, or maybe there might be some battle that has been waging and. Now you have to figure out, okay, how can I get out of this battle? Um, I, I find myself in a better place. And you're going to love this, guys. Um, there is the lovers, which that one... Yeah, a lot of you have really connected into that. Um, but some of you, some of you aren't quite aware to this as, as you would want to. So it's been a little complicated. It's been a little hard to, to, to find, uh, I find out about this in life. So I feel like either this, this, I, either this lover or this lover wants to have children with you or maybe maybe you know 
maybe even if it means just to be in marriage with somebody, you know, um, you know, for those of you that are already married, or maybe even, uh, you know, focus on wanting to become married, you know, um, and I'm also going to do a card pool for those that want to know uh, wealth before I go. So uh, let's go ahead and quickly make some room for uh, wealth card reading um, for you guys. So let's see. Wealth, wealth, wealth. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that, like, for, for you guys that are in a, in a liking or in a relationship or maybe uh, together with a Sagittarius, maybe, maybe the lovers is finally coming around where it's like, you know, this person is truly my person, like the person that, uh, that you've been with for for a long while now which is like um the sagittarius is like you know what maybe i understand you maybe maybe i do actually you know devote the things to you and maybe i took it for granted kind of thing or maybe it could be like people that maybe it could be towards this aquarius maybe it could be towards this pisces Maybe it could be towards, um, you know, this, uh, well, since the lovers is out, um, the lovers is based on, um, through Zodiac, um, it's the Gemini. So maybe some of you might be uh, into Geminis. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see what comes out. Ooh. So for wealth, um, some of you have the King of Pentacles. So that one's a very interesting one for wealth. Um, I feel like there is a little bit of some contingency, some kind of uh, plan that you're form uh, formulating. Um, some kind of, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, for some of you, you have the uh, King of Swords upside down. It's not for everybody, uh, for it being upside down, but it's only for a select few. Um, the King of Swords being upside down, I feel like, um, you went from a perspective of um, kind of being demandful to being more um, kind of being more like gotta just state it and put it out there and just see what comes out. Um, so yeah. So let's see what comes, oh, that might be a handful. Yep, yep. Uh, like I was saying, you gotta put it out there and just walk on along and just see if it comes in. So, yeah. And then um, the hanged band, that's kind of, that's kind of like um, some kind of like um, you're seeing from like a different perspective because the tower is upside down. So that means no more conflict, no more, uh, you know, battle. So it's like, you're, you're saying like, all right, it is what it is kind of a thing. And that's why the Ace of Swords is out, which is interesting because that is yet another Ace that came out today. Um... So with the Ace of Swords, you're kind of like now in this place of like allowing this to happen, allowing this to um, step in. And like since 
there is a crown at the very top or very tippy top of the sword it's kind of like you know what you're coming in very strong how about i uh how about i show you the crown so then you can see your um see the end result um so then you can understand your path understand where you're going understand what you're about to do things like that um and also the high priestess came out um it, it's kind of like um it's not about the letters that are on the pillars because the letters are based on um like a very particular person or a very particular energy but with the high priestess it's like um you're standing on a throne um it could be the high priestess it could be the priest um or the hierophant in other words um you know you're stepping in on that you're stepping in on what you're bound to do which gives you that balance gives you that beautiful you know that beautiful ass balance you know, you, you are, you are now loving it. You are now enjoying it. And now it's time to uh, let go of all the burdens, to let go of all the things that have pushed you back. And for a quick little main message for you guys before you go, uh, let's see, let's see, main message. Um, so, um, I will post about, uh, the main message in the community tab, so feel free to, um, move in on that, uh, if you wish to, uh, see that, so, yeah. Um, but I'm going to be having it posted, um, some point, um, at around six o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. So, um, feel free to, um, look at that if you want to be the first to see it. Um, I, I look at, I like, look at the time to see, um, uh, when you want to, you know, be present when it first comes out so anyway um ooh, we might have two cards uh two for one um so anyway uh we have the um what you call it the empress which is um upside down which is very interesting and the four of swords out so I feel like you have um, put this um, whole thing to rest, which um, there's, there's someone particular that is um, not aligning to you and will probably uh, never align to you that you just uh, put to rest. Um, and it's someone that is either nudging you or um, trying to trying to make you into into their image rather than um, you know you naturally connecting with this person. So anyway, um, I'm going to uh, leave this card as a. Um, little bit of a um, ending um, to this whole entire card reading and I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always take care um, quick little note um, anybody that is um, that is close to me in this um, in this group here uh, or maybe um, somebody that just 
knows me uh, from off the streets or maybe just somebody that just knows me um, sincerely. I've got a uh, birthday coming up. Uh, I'll be on the 26th um, of this month. So um, I'll probably be sending out a um, topic or like a, a message through the community uh, center uh, part of the uh, of the uh, post here um, during the day of my birthday, letting people know that um, I'm celebrating it. So yeah, um, feel free to um, check in and uh, this will be the card um, that will be sent out to the community tab. So um, if you are ready, feel free to look upon that. And also, that was a wonderful card reading for all of you. Um, so you can feel free to um, listen in on the, um, the love connection, uh, the third party connection, the uh, work connection, the family connection, and also as well as um, the wealth connection, and as well as uh, the main message and um, what I will be having for this um, this whole um, card. I'll be sent to you guys. Anyway, um, take care all of you, and as always, um, Eleven lights. Take care. And as always, peace.